Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Rogue Trader. And uh, we're here in the Spire still. And we've got quite a bit Stop. left to do, I feel that. like. Um, let's see. Is this one... Yep, it's going to be Xenos. Let's see, can you go around that way? Sure can. Um, I don't know how to select that when it's behind for a this. Monkey. There we go. <laughs> Awkward. Now, did somebody find, like, um, I thought I heard the little sound effect for finding something rare as well, after we'd already found the trap. But maybe I'm just crazy. Okay, well, let's continue. Ooh! Almost triggered that one. The Drukhari symbols are indecipherable. Let us not dawdle. Okay. I have rarely given thought to the price our dark kin pay to save their souls from the clutches of she who thirsts, but now I see the price their victims pay, the price my kin have paid. Okay. Let's just do a little sweep down here real quick. Make sure there's not something we missed. I always keep my options open. Okay, I think we're okay on this end. So at this point, let's head over here. Make sure to pick that up, sweep around that, go up there. Always keep your eye on the price. I have learned much in my exile. Ninety five, that's pretty damn good. Okay, so that was that one. I always have a backup plan. I align my path with yours, for now. My success was inevitable. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Okay. Hide from me. Did you hope to see an Azuriani fail? I have failed my kin. Dang it. Two injuries is so rude, too. I woke up with a feeling of wonder, as if a th I must. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We got so many of those. Not Let even worried about I it. Found. Activate? Okay. Ooh, another sharpshooter rifle. Probably not better than the ones we're already using, but let's check. Maybe for you. Ooh, 36, actually. 40% additional hit chance, too. So it's very close to the hunting rifle. Does it have any extra things down here? 
dead eyes do a plus five damage to larger enemies. So it, it kind of is just an upgrade to the hunter rifle. And yeah, it's way, way more damage. Okay, that one's kind of nice because of the poison, but like, with the other one having so many other bonuses, I don't know if we'll ever use this one now, so I wonder if I should set something else up for him for a secondary, like a pistol sword setup or something. At least then if somebody came in melee, he'd have a chance to maybe swing at him, even though he'd be terrible at it. I don't know. Or we could give him something like this that could maybe push back. So like if we gave him a shove and then a pistol. Yeah, I wish they had more areas. Like I'd, I'd love to be able to look at one handed, two handed and be able to sort by type. All right, 10 to 14 probably is not the best one we've got, but well, actually <laughs> out of the pistols, it might be. You know, shotgun also does knock back, though. Let's give him a little shotgun here. Arc rifle could be interesting, but let's just let's just get something that gives him knockback. Okay. Mirazai strides among the mysterious Zeno's devices and presses his palm to one of the strange pieces, resembling a pedestal. With a hiss, one of its sides suddenly opens like an airlock. The Drukhari begin to examine the contents of the container. The thuds and clangs of objects being moved about ring harshly in the otherwise silent space. Meanwhile, your eyes are involuntarily drawn to the peculiar device that fills the room. Okay, look around. After the anatomical opera, you have not the slightest doubt about the purpose of the device around you. You think you have seen some of them before in the homunculus's lab laboratory. Others are even more obscure in their design, but the gleaming needles, cutting blades, and tubes and flasks filled with, with uh, revolting liquids give a clear indication of the horrors they can wreak upon a living body. So what is he doing then? Heinrichs's mouth flattens into a hard, thin line as he glances at one of the torture devices, but he remains silent. I do not need to be a seer to feel the pain permeating this place with my very being. You feel the pain, cousin. Mirage Eye does not even turn around to look at your Liet. Your re-education has clearly already borne fruit. Mirage Eye, what is this place? The Chamber of Satiation. The Drukhari turns to you, holding something in his hand. A place of reflection and pleasure. This is where racks do their tinkering, working on new captives in anticipation of a hungry Kabbalite who will appreciate their artistry. If Tervantius' servants were here, I could show you more vernacular. Marjai chuckles as if he has just made a joke and his eyes are burning embers. For instance, how to skin a monkey without killing it, or how to turn an Eldari into material for a charming trinket that will delight you for the rest of your life. But alas, another time. Your interest pleases me. Here, take this. Consider it a reward for your diligence. Oh, I'm killing this guy. As soon as we're out of here, he's he's out. <laughs> Marjai carelessly dumps the items he retrieved from the container into your arms. 20 to 40 piercing damage, 45% armor penetration. If they do not dodge, they also suffer mental damage. Jesus. The chambers in the heart of the spire, not far from the webway gate. Perhaps there I will find my soul so desperate. Find what my soul so desperately craves. Let's hurry. Is there money to be made? This task should have been accomplished easily. Okay. Failed that check. The view of the intertwining and intricate passages of the labyrinth fascinates and draws the eyes. Oh, camera, what are you doing, bro? <laughs>
Nothing escapes my sight. Okay, Morak. Okay. Another map down. What do we have here? <laughs> A trivial task. Okay, looks like we got some enemies over there. Yep, got a fight on our hands for sure. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't know. You're probably going to trigger the fight, aren't you? Well, I guess we're going to find Keep out. Keep a sharp eye. Bro, oh, everybody chill. Okay. So good. So far. No traps on this side? Okay, cool. Never mind. I have failed my kin. I've learned much in my exile. Let's see. Wow, we failed three of those in a row with 75? Okay. I will wipe your disgusting presence out of existence. What caused them to I'll take turn damage? You into corpse starch. Um, let's make sure you're nice and in front. You can be just behind. And then, yeah, the two of you. Okay, we're not going to really have good... ...cover. I'm not accustomed. Oh my goodness. Let me educate you on the art of pain. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I'm a navigator. Alright, what is this one? Not a servitor. They can move to that area if they need to. Can you have two stratagems on one place? I don't know if I actually know that. Ugh, you will pay for this! Oh wow, okay. You were able to get closer than I was expecting you to be able to. and malice. Is lacking. What just shot me? Is that some kind of trap? What was that? It mostly did damage to them, so I'm not going to complain too much, but is it going to trigger again? Let's see, do any of these actually do damage right now? I just, I don't know how to use this guy right now because I don't know his abilities. I know that one. Okay. Well, our front is Pretty much shifted at this point. <laughs> it's you shot once and had to reload. 
Okay. <laughs> Turned out worse for you than it did for me. Okay. You'll be able to finish this guy. If I must. Have you mark him? Okay, no line of sight. How about that guy? That is beneath me. Um, okay, the line of sight here is a little bit awkward. Fine. If it serves your cause. I understand your intent. I deal death with my hands. Okay. I might leave those two, and he'll just deal with them, and we're going to turn everybody else around. Stop trying, monkey. How can you not see that? I guess this is full cover, that's why. If it was half cover, like, I was assuming this was half cover. Okay. But we can still move you. And actually, that might actually be better. Hold on. Yeah, right there. Oh my god, look at that. I move All right. as if I'm Hopefully we'll hit Yeah, that overpenetration was awesome. Okay. Can you see him now? You can. Mark him. Mark him. Oh, this guy actually is really heavy. Didn't realize that. Um Yeah, we'll strip that armor. If it serves your cause. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Let's see to it. For the throne's glory. Give herself some bonus attack here. You've unleashed my fury. Have you go there? Faith without deeds is worthless. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> I didn't even know that you were possible to hit with that. Oh, yep, right there. Okay. Doubt is for the weak. Cool. Gosh, she is so good. I'll do it. Your skill is lacking. Okay, that's free. We'll use Revel and Slaughter after we've used Run and Gun. Is happen. I'll see to it personally. I'm a member. Who, if not me? Thank you. 
this one. This can't be over. Since this is bugged, we can't do that. Me, Elon Tuck. Let's give her another full last turn. I approach the designated position. Not marked, so that wouldn't actually give you any AP back. Okay, and then we just have the two over here. Let me educate you on the arts of pain. This tedium is beneath me. A work for a flesh crafter. I am not your Xenos pet, Lord. Yeah, let's just finish it. Okay. Damn, you're Liet. Get your revenge, girl. Um, okay. Good I fight. I always keep my options open. In front of you is part of a Xeno device that controls the traps in this deadly place. Let us not dawdle. Good job. That's definitely the direction I would have sent you. For sure. <laughs> Pathetic attempt! Oh, uh, that's what happens when you forget to uh, baby your dumb people. <laughs> what is it? Um, did you take an injury from that? I can't even see. Bring it on! You sure did. Sins hidden in um, the heart. A bunch of people took Turn injuries. Okay. To decay. Time to do a round the of heals. The pain will subside. Took you long enough. Fresh injury on yourself. And you got two on our girl yearly yet. Be strong. Greater trials I think, yeah, lie ahead. Yeah, she took another trauma Your too. Your technology is limited, but I am grateful. She's racking him up. Somehow she's still performing really well in all the fights, though. Okay. Always keep your eye on the prize. Getting mad about these. <laughs> you take two again? You probably took two again, didn't you? Alright, she didn't take two this time. When the faithful are idle, Fuck's sake. heresy grows. <laughs> Gotta use these med kits somewhere, right? This is our time. You were made by the monkey equivalent of a homunculus. He must have been a ham-fisted butcher to have fashioned such an ugly fighter. Rude, who are you talking to? Oh really, who was he talking to? Nobody answered. I always have a backup plan. What a jerk. The elevator is controlled by an unknown mechanism that the human mind seems unable to comprehend. My warp sight reveals Jesus. something. Jesus. 
speak a long We're getting time. real close to some of these checks, bro. Aren't you supposed to be good at this? Okay, that one was actually really hard. <sighs> Alright. Two injuries again. Why is it two injuries so often? The pain will subside. Just to annoy me? I think it's just to annoy me. Getting irritated. How about we just, um... Rack you up with these, since we're clearly going to have to just continue to use them. Too hard for a simple monkey? Stop. Keep your there. wits about you. Plus four bonus to damage against enemies who have no adjacent allies. The range of the wearer's dash and charge abilities is increased by one cell. Okay. Heinrichs or Avalard thing there. We'll check it against what they've got. Okay, Biomancy. A new Siphon Life one. That actually might be an upgrade to his secondary that we never use. 30% armor. Okay. And this is a medium armor. Looks like it's pretty good. Tax of opportunity. Deal an additional plus 10 toxic. Trukari equipment. Parry. 10% area attack damage. Speak now. Oh. Hmm. What is your 78 dodge to 50% armor versus... Oh, of course. Um. Damn it. I don't know where that other armor went. <laughs> Was it the 30%? You know what? I don't care. This is your new armor now. There you go. Um, okay. Let's check these boots on you. At the start of the wearer's turn, 20% dodge until the end of round. That works really well when you have high initiative. Early initiative in the round. It's less good if you're not getting um, high initiative, but initiative is controlled by agility, and you do have pretty high agility. What boots does Cassia have? Because she always starts at the top of the round, so these boots would probably be really good on her. Whenever the wearer uses a navigator power, they gain 15% dodge until the end of the round, and it stacks. Yeah, that's better. Especially with the stacking. <laughs> she can get 30% easily in her first round, if not higher. She uses, what, one, two, three? She uses, like, three navigator powers in her first turn almost every single time. Which is wild. Okay, um, let's see, 55, yeah, that's an upgrade for you, we'll put it on, and then another Siphon Life, so is it any different? Not really, armor penetration, damage are the same, Siphon Life at power level 13. 10 willpower and plus 2 Siri. That's probably where the difference comes in. Does this do anything like that? Alright, willpower and toughness. Honestly? Yeah, let's put that on. Okay. We'll try those boots on him. Don't know if they'll be better, but... Did you hope to see an Azuriani fail? No, actually, I'm hoping that you succeed, like, one time ever. I must... 
Thank you. Is there money to be made? I sense something nearby. Monculus's guard. Okay, I'm not going to interact with this stuff yet. Of exploring. Let us Join me in prayer. Your technology is limited, but I am grateful. Man, these Xenos checks suck. It's ridiculous. There are faintly visible field lines on the smooth surface, probably some sort of power system. Honestly, she's at, you know what? You know what I didn't take into account? Her injuries are probably making her worse at it now too. He might have a higher chance at this point because of the injuries. You're at 70. I guess these, oh my God, look at <laughs> her toughness is at five. Um, all right, so they're equal right now. And I don't think this changes your skills. Okay. Tavantius wants to talk. Go. Okay. The homunculus looks up from the control panel and gazes at you with disdain from the other side of the impenetrable force screen. You survived, specimen. What a woeful lack of ability to follow orders. You were supposed to die, be it in the arena or in the chasm. However, the servants of Azar... Azirish will soon remedy your blunder. I'm sure that I pronounced that perfectly. Hello, Tervantius. I have not missed you either. God, I want to kill him, but like... I think that he's supposed to be a being that's way more powerful than us, seeing as how he just was able to kill us outright. So I don't think I dare. Specimen, as you might have noticed, the homunculus's limbs sim simultaneously gesture at the massive construct supporting the force field around him. The version of the stifler blocks both the energy that bleeds in from beyond the veil and any physical attempts to intrude inside its range. Your attempt at conversing is pointless. Simply continue on, your, on the way to your demise and do not disturb me. Elentok, though your heart may abound with anger, Irliet looks around. The immeasurable torment of powerful farseers pervades the spire. If you were to risk destroying this construct, it could cause an irreparable tear in the Vale and Kamara. Heinrichs laughs, but his laughter sounds morbid and disturbing. What's this? A chance to open a warp breach in the heart of our enemy's bastion? I did not expect anything in this damned place to put a smile on my face. I was wrong. How strange. Next to this construct, my soul is both naked and swaddled at the same time. The colors around me melt away, and so do my powers. Okay. 20%. Failed. The construct does not look too different from the other creations of the Drakari you have seen. An angular amalgam of unknown metal sharp edges and hints of wriggling living flesh. Okay. What happens if I destroy this construct, I wonder? Then you will give thousands of souls to Silent Thresh, Elentok. You will wound one enemy to empower another. Once she who thirsts is done feasting in Kamara, she will surely sink her claws into our worlds as well. Because nothing can sate her hunger. The Xenos narrows his eyes at you and hisses. You must be thinking that the moment you do it, Kamara will descend into demonic mayhem and the valorous rogue trader will have rid the universe of the abominable Drukhari and finally flee these dark halls. Well, before all that happens, specimen, the demons that will arrive will rip your flesh to shreds and devour everyone in sight. And while you are busy writhing in agony, I will have enough time to put everything back in order. You do not seem to share your kind's fear of the warp in the slightest. Does that make you mad or simply arrogant? 
Xenos responds with a self-satisfied chuckle. Fear is the reaction of a weak mind presented with the inconceivable. Even our masters are liable to it. Oh, the pains it took me to convince the Archon to bring the spirit warriors into the Dark City, and to then conceal the evidence of the dimensional collapse that had destabilized the Spire. I alone acted without fear. I delve deeper as a scalpel delves into flesh. I have designed devices that stifle the breath of the Unreal. I am creating a weapon that will make the warp itself tremble, and I am using the raging power of suns as sustenance for my weapon. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why they're stealing suns then. I know no fear, for in my mind there is no inconceivable. There is no inconceivable, only the unconceived. You're using the power of suns? Does that mean you are the one behind the disappearing stars? Of course. My masterpiece needed an unthinkable amount of energy, but how could I let something as trifling as the unthinkable stand in my way? The star you call Rykad was stolen at my behest, as were many before it. Tervantius's gloating tone becomes insufferable. Have you been to the world you monkey know as Santiel's Pride? I only recently took it, son, while you were busy spilling witch guts on the arena floor. Oh, really? Is that like... Have we been there? I would have to look that one up. It was most amusing to watch your pathetic planet freeze to its very core. How fascinating it is that such a paltry sacrifice as the lives of several million monkey can serve something as great as my masterpiece. No, really, which one is that? Santiel's Pride. Huh. It was obviously like... People live there. Um, okay. I see I have no... I have other questions to ask. Yeah, we're not gonna break the construct. We have other things to do here. Cervantius does not respond. You notice his upper lip twitching in a display of utter disgust. Why are you hiding behind a force field, Cervantius? Are you afraid of me? You think highly of yourself, specimen, but make no mistake, that will not make me deem you a worthy opponent. Do you have any special equipment reserves left? Like he's kidding. <laughs> the homunculus cocks his head to one side and stares at you. No, monkey. No more handouts. <laughs> okay. Until our next meeting, Cervantius. It will be your last. I sure hope so. A faint smile crosses the Xenos' face. Farewell, monkey. Ooh, okay, got a level up, too. And we've hit three. We're locked in. We are locked into Iconoclast. So, here we get Courage and Steel. You need 30 less momentum to activate a heroic act. And we're already triggering them pretty quickly right now, so that's awesome. Oh yeah, we're in our exemplar now. I don't really know how this works. A fierce, uh, a first tier archetype talent and an exemplar talent. Okay, so we're gonna have first and second tier archetypes as well as some ones that are specific to the exemplar. Okay, cool, cool. So we'll have access to certain trees from Master Tactician and Officer throughout this. All right, these ones should be new. An additional 12 wounds. They're increased by toughness as well. In the same way as basic wounds, okay. At the start of the character's turn, they restore 10% of their maximum wounds. If the character has less than 20% of wounds left, they restore 20% of their maximum wounds instead. Okay. That's probably one we're gonna want on our frontliners. Targets that consider the character a priority for deal 40% less damage to the character and allies. Enemies hit by the character with a melee attack must pass a willpower resistance test or make the character their priority target. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna want lethal threat on Abelard and then full attention after that. So like, those are gonna be the first two we're gonna get on Abelard, I feel like. That'll be a nice little debuff combo there. As long as the character wears light armor, their dodge is increased by half the armor bonus of that armor. Ooh. OK. 
Okay. Critical hit chance and critical damage are increased. Okay, definitely yearly yet. Should I give it to my character as well? That, that one's a pretty strong one here. You're doing light armor, so that one might be good. Character gains a bonus to all resistance tests equal to plus five times deflection. What is your deflection? Which one? That's this, right? Okay, yeah, you're not built for deflection. That's going to be on Abelard, if anybody. Because he's kind of the only one we have heavy armor on. Character becomes immune to all effects that reduce their MP. And they gain bonus MP. When healed, they regain a little bit more. Attacked by an enemy, they gain momentum equal to the difficulty tier of the attacking creature. Character's deflection is doubled against single target attacks. Okay, once again, that might be one for Avalard then. Character gains a bonus to their strength equal to 20% of their maximum wounds. Okay. Whenever the character loses wounds, their next melee attack gains plus one. You're not melee. During the first turn of combat, the character has plus two additional action points. Hmm. I don't think that would be good for you because um, we require um, the tactics points for most of our abilities. So having more AP isn't very good for you. Um, this would be very good on Argenta. Eager for battle is going on Argenta for sure. Every round after the character kills the first enemy, the character immediately makes an additional single attack against the closest enemy they can target with the same weapon if possible. This attack deals 30% base damage with 10% bonus for every difficulty tier of the first killed. If the enemy was of difficulty tier 1, his attack deals 40% damage in total. Every character's melee, don't worry about that for you. Enemies that have zero deflection or zero armor against the character's attack suffer... 10% additional damage. Okay, so anybody who's like, yeah, okay. Character ignores. Ballistic skill bonus divided by two of the enemy's deflection rounded down. That could be good on Argenta. Any damage the character deals is increased by plus one for every attack. They have made this combat. Does not affect damage over time. Affects bleeding, burning, toxin. That will stack so hard with Argenta, I feel like. Okay. All damage dealt by the character is increased by plus 3% until the end of combat for every new enemy damaged by them this combat. Also Argenta. <laughs> when allies take actions on extra turns given by the character, they deal 15% more damage. So we take this on the character that gives somebody else actions, correct? They need to word this a little bit more carefully. Who needs to have this skill in order to get the bonus? When allies, when allies take actions on extra turns given by the character, me, they will gain 15% more damage. So yes, I do want this on an officer, okay. After an ally takes an extra turn, provided by the character, the ally gains 7% armor, dodge, and movement points until the end of combat. Ooh. Ooh. That's probably the one we're going to take right away. That one's my favorite one so far. Till the end of combat. Wow, okay. If an extra turn given by the character abilities or talents grants MP, the target gains plus 4 additional MP. If AP, the target gains plus 1 additional AP. And if it's both, does it do both? Ooh, I like both of those a lot, then. Two cells around character, deal plus percentage more damage. I don't like the proximity things. We're usually spread out. Whenever the character deals damage to an enemy, that enemy suffers plus one stack of the degraded defense effect for every six damage that the character is dealt. The character's armor penetration is higher than the enemy's armor. Character's critical hit chance against that enemy is increased by plus 2% for every 5% difference. That might be a good one for Yearly yet. 
if the character's dodge reduction is higher than the enemy's dodge. Character's damage against that enemy is increased by plus 1% for every 5% difference. Cool. Dead Eye Shot deals an additional plus percentage of damage. Um, we're not using the Dead Eye as often right now, but let's see. The following ranged attack abilities gain Dead Eye Shot benefits. Additional damage from Talon itself. Bounty Hunters claim the bounty. Wait. All of these are added? Is that what it's saying? Wait, hold on. No. The fall. Okay, Dead Eye Shot's deal an additional percentage of damage. That's one part of it. The following ranged attack abilities gain Dead Eye Shot benefits. Gotcha, okay. So, claim the bounty, finish the job, Death Whisper, Killing Edge, Dispatch, Dismantling Attack. Okay. So claim the bounty would just get a little bit of a bonus there, so that might be a good one for Yerliet. Okay. Character's first melee attack each round deals an additional plus two damage for every cell between the character's current position and the spot where they started their turn. Distance is measured in a direct line, ignoring all terrain, with every second diagonal cell counting as two. Character's first melee attack. Plus two damage. Okay, so, like, you just want to do max movement, and if you do max movement, you're going to do more damage. Out of my way. Whenever the character pushes an enemy, the character gains plus 4 MP. They are added after the attack and allow the character to continue movement. That might work well with Kick. Probably wouldn't be the first one I'd take on Argenta, but... Damage dealt by collisions from pushes is increased by plus 3%. Character gains 15 willpower as long as they have no ranged weapons equipped. Staves do not count as ranged weapons, okay. Okay. Cool. Willpower resistance test failed. They suffer direct damage. On success, the damage is doubled. Ooh, wait. Is it a willpower check for the movement abilities on Cassia? Because if so, then we'll be able to increase the damage of those even more. On success, the damage is doubled. Huh. Okay, that could be very good. We'll have to check that. I can't remember if that damage is based on a willpower resistance test. It might not be. And I also don't know if it would properly connect with the damage that's being dealt through a talent. Because the ability itself doesn't do damage, it's the talent that does the damage. So I'm not really sure how those two would play with each other. Um, okay, but. Whenever you apply blinded, slowed, fatigued, perplexed, or disturbed effects, one random enemy within five cells of the target also gains the effect. Plus five doll characteristics, this bonus is doubled when they have 25% wounds or less. That'd be good on anybody. Just a straight plus five on everything? Yeah, that's just good. The character's attack uh, gain an additional plus percentage over penetration. Their over penetration attacks cannot be dodged. God, that one's gonna crush on Argenta. That could be good on us right now, but that's only because of the weapon we're using. The weapon we're using has 100% over penetration, but it's... We'll probably be using it for a while, but... Huh. I might want to take that on this character while we have that weapon. I just don't know if it's going to be as useful when we no longer are using that weapon. I mean, sniper rifle over penetration is still pretty common, though, so... Bonus to armor, penetration, dodge, dodge reduction, critical hit chance, critical damage, and parry chance. 
based on intelligence, so whoever our highest intelligence people are should have know-it-all. When targets pushed by the character collide with enemies, recover... Duh, 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 duh. Okay, probably not going to use that. We're not using a lot of abilities that way. Character single shots deal damage to targets other than their main target. They gain plus 5 ballistic skill until the end of combat. Once again, that works really well with overpenetration. Okay, you don't have Biomancy. Divination, Pyro, Hours. Okay. The character becomes an unsanctioned Psyker? Oh, weird. Can you do that to him? Heinrichs would hate it if we made him an unsanctioned... Oh, no, this is to turn... It's somebody who's not a Psyker into a Psyker. Oh, I see. So this is like a late game just giving you psych Psyker abilities to people who weren't Psykers before. Interesting. Yeah, so one of the prerequisites is a Psy rating of zero. So anybody who's already a Psyker can't do anything in these. Interesting. Huh. This is definitely something you'd want to do early if you wanted to do it. I'm trying to think, because I don't know all of these trees that well. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go down those trees, but I'm sure that there are some really, really cool combinations you can do using this. Interesting. Okay. So I think it, right now it's between attention and firebrand for vernacular. So his turn thing that he's given people would give an extra 1 AP. And then I'm assuming that when we mark somebody and then, and then somebody kills that marked person and gets their extra turn, they would get a bonus to their MP and their AP, right? Let's take Firebrand for now. Oh yeah, first tier, we didn't have anything starred. Target to bring it down gains 1 AP. If they finish their extra turn using this ability with 0 AP, they will suffer 3 direct damage. So it just gives them an extra AP. 3 direct damage ain't bad. Yeah, let's give people more AP. So now we should be up to 4 AP. We went from 2 to 4 AP with that. We'll try that out in the next fight and make sure it's actually working properly, but that two action points should now be up to four action points. Cool. And then I'm hoping that at all costs, yep, two AP would turn into three AP, and then the four AP would turn into six AP, MP, right? Okay. Cool stuff. What I'm probably going to do is go through and star for each of the characters um, the, the abilities that I like in these trees. And um, then I'll see you all in the next episode where we'll choose um, all of those. Um, but we read through all of the new abilities there. So you kind of know what the options are. And then in the next episode, we'll go through in a little bit um, cleaner, in a cleaner way, go through our level ups. So yeah, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.
I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Hannah Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, Philip Dowerty, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.